welcome back to Studio Lou. It's Cindy. So today I'm going to do my Tinker Lab uh, sketchbook challenge. Today for February the 11th is stamp. So I got a little bit of a start so I wouldn't bore you with um, the stamping aspect. So the stamp I'm going to use is this one that I got from my recent Michael's Clearance Haul and it's this jar and I wanted to get this stamp for quite some time because I was thinking about it from like the aspect of like cabinet of curiosities. You could do some kind of cool like things in jars. So I just used my stays on ink um, and I've stamped this piece of coffee dyed, uh, gritty coffee dyed paper. Um, this it's from a dyeing experiment that I did recently where I aged my paper for about a week with coffee grounds in between each sheet so it left these really cool like um, impressions and marks. It was a lot of work so I don't know if I would do it all the time but I did get a lot of paper out of it so I'm pretty happy about that. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to work on filling, cutting out these jars and then filling them up with things. Um, and then they can be used on ephemera pieces. So, I mean, you could even honestly use an entire page of this in a journal, and that would be kind of cool. Um, you could even leave the jars totally like empty. Imagine that's just a journal page and like people could write or, um, you know, stick anything inside the jar that they wanted to. It could be a jar of thoughts though too. So, gonna cut these out. It's only Thursday today and I totally forgot like but one of the days of the week like has has not happened and thought it was Friday. I don't know why but I was like oh it's not Friday. I had my hopes up. Oh Friday needs to hurry along but at least it's like Valentine's Day this weekend and then in Canada, next weekend, we have family day, which is nice because we actually we get a day off for that, which is great. And our pandemic numbers have gone down, so now they're going to reopen a lot of things, which to me is just sort of, I don't know. I don't know. I've got my hopes up, but unfortunately our vaccine um, plan isn't going as positively as I would have hoped. Um, Canada was one of the most aggressively like <clears throat> represented countries in the pre-purchase of vaccines, but I think we're like 39th in uh, actually getting the vaccines into people, so... I don't know. I don't feel very good about the reopening plan because I feel like our numbers were over 3,000 a day. We locked down and now we're around 12 to 1,500 a day. Now they want to reopen. And to me, it's like that's like being open, especially restaurants, schools, large workplaces. Um, that's how we got to 3,000 a day, in my opinion, you know? So it's just like... Don't expect a different result when nothing nothing has changed. The virus is still out there, and now we have other variants of it that are more aggressive, so I'm not feeling great, to be honest. But, you know, I know this can be a hot topic and everything, but uh, it's fine. At this point, everyone's allowed to have their feelings, and we're all in this together, and I think we all want the best outcome at some, at some stage of this we all want the same thing, and that's just to be healthy and be able to hang out with each other. Okay, so those are all cut out. So um, I did pull a few pages out of some books before I got started here. This one is, um, oh yeah, the coil of wire for electrical magnets. I was thinking the coil might be kind of cool inside here. So I'm just going to cut that out. I might do a couple of them. We'll see. Because these could be like science experiment kind of. So I'm just going to make a mark at how wide I'm allowed to kind of go. So I'll know that this is a bit too wide by maybe like a quarter inch 
So, we'll cut this out on this side. There we go. And this image is from this cool book I got called The Way Things Work, and it's just like a book of different experiments, and it explains the process of how different machines and whatnot work. So I don't know, I might um, just trim again, just to make this rounded. Then that could sit right in there like that. Yeah. Just because of the um, grunginess of this paper, I'm just going to kind of grunge this up a little bit. But then I was thinking also, I have oh wait, yellow ink back here. I have too much stuff on my desk still. Oh, the never ending saga of my life. Um, and then I'm just going to use maybe a makeup brush around here somewhere. There's one, that one's too big. My desk needs to be cleaned. Goodness. Okay, so let's see how dirty this one is. There we go, that's not too, too bad. So we'll just get some yellow in here and then just kind of put some yellow in the middle. So it'll look like, kind of like a lantern, but like there's something electrical going on. There we go. There's that one. Then I was thinking of doing just a couple that have like mushrooms inside them, like little specimen jars. And I'm just going to use some stickers for those because I have about a million um, mushroom stickers. So I think we'll just kind of lay that like, not quite like that. You can't have the edge going outside the jar. There we go. And then I will um, ink over it because it is, again, pretty bright. another one there we go back to that one um next I was thinking about some of these bugs um because they're pretty cool I was thinking again on the whole like specimen jar kind of idea I'm just going to kind of fussy cut these around like with a little bit of white space because that is pretty close to impossible to like um cut directly against the black. <laughs> if anyone can fussy cut stuff like this, you know what? You're hired because I can't. So you could put this guy like, so here's my idea. So I think you could put him in here just like 
sitting kind of like he was maybe on the ground. Um, so let me just... Oops. There we go. I think I turned that off. I did. <laughs> okay, so he could just like sit on the ground like this or, you know, like with a lot of things in like scientific specimens, they, um, they would be like on a stick or something. Um, I'm just gonna ink them up a little maybe, or maybe I'll do it when I'm, when I'm, after I glue them down. I'll just glue them down first. And then, here we go. So I think I'll put them like right here up in the top of the jar, like that. And then if I have um, my Sharpie, my black Sharpie, I think I need to like seriously buy some more like fine liner Sharpies. I probably have a million of them. I just need to look for them more than likely. Because I, I seem to never have one when I need one. Um, nope, nope. Okay. Do I have one over here? Yeah, I probably do. Hold on. Sorry about that. So then I'm just going to take this Sharpie fine liner. And then create like a stick. So that... You know, he would be on some type of a small stand inside this jar that would be, like, glued to the bottom. And the other thing I was thinking about is, like, how could I... So this is... The main label of the family of bugs. So I wonder if I could fit this somehow on here that would make sense. Um, to make it look kind of like a actual specimen jar. Okay, so this would be, I'm going to glue this on first. I'm going to ink the whole thing afterward just to even it out. But, um, yeah. Okay. Family Ballistim Day. Okay. I'm not going to use the second part of the label, I don't think. I like just the genus name, maybe. Because people might get scared of like giant water bugs. And just kind of ink this a little more. There we go. So that's that one. And then I was thinking, um, I have some of these little like acorn and little fall things. So in my house, I actually on my uh, mantle have um, kind of a lot of found objects in glass jars. It's just something that I have always done, just collected random things outside from bones to wasps nests to acorns and we dry things like leaves and yeah so then I'll just stick those on there and then again we need to ink because they're so so bright I wish that more stickers were actual die cut stickers because then you don't got to deal with these white, white lines. And then you could put like a little label up here too. Okay. And then these 
next ones, I'm just going to put these little vellum plant stickers because they look pretty cool. There we go. Then I might just do a little inking over them too, just to kind of blend them into the background a bit. Well, they don't really need it. This is actually really clear, clear vellum, which is nice. Okay, there we go. Now we got one more. Um, and I don't know what I want to do with it. If I want to do another bug, maybe. Maybe another bug would be cool. right there and then we'll draw the little stand and then I will grab the family name crooked. My days of working as an assistant curator in a museum, I'd be in big trouble if I was labeling things so haphazardly. Because <laughs> there is a methodology to everything in the museum world. You need to do things right. Labels go in certain places and you have labeling conventions that you have to follow. All sorts of fun. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now, okay, so there we go. I think we have accomplished the uh, brief of stamp and we got quite a few little pieces done. So I might just pop these in my like little kind of use it up ephemera box. Um, but yeah, those would probably get added either on a journal card or actually just right into a journal. I mean, you could write on the back too. They're just a cute little tuck in um, and you could glue them to a page. So yeah, there's lots of fun things you could do with this stamp um, or any kind of a container stamp. Like I said, you know, you could even just use a page that's been stamped with this stamp and people could write their thoughts in these. Um, so yeah, that is it for me for today. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I'll probably be back a little later with another video because I have another idea that I want to work on. Thank you. All of my social information is down below and don't forget to subscribe. I'd love to see you here more often. Thanks.